favorite day of the week. I hope it'll be yours soon. Maybe. maybe. I don't know. Even with Mama Mary, maybe Monday still. But anyway, we digress. We've got a great, 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 great um, show for you today. We are going to talk about three reasons why you should keep your room clean. And I am going to surprise you because uh, some of them you're not going to anticipate. Although one of them you can probably guess what it is. But the other two I think I'll probably surprise you. Got to watch it. Confidence. Confidence, confidence, confidence. Why it's really important and why we all have to work on it together. All the time. All the time. There's always stuff you can do to boost confidence. Critically important. And Ronaldo, unbelievably, Ronaldo makes a guest appearance in Mama Mary. Totally serious. Lin-Manuel Miranda also is coming, but um, that's a, we already recorded it. It's coming in a future episode. Just hang in there. We're going to learn how to peel an ancient fruit. That's all we have to say about that. Happy Monday. Mama Mary Monday. Today, I want to talk to you about one of your favorite topics in the whole world, which is cleaning your room. And <laughs> so why is cleaning your room important? There's three really important reasons. Um, the first reason is critters. Um, and, and when you have the space physically clean, you're not gonna get little creepy crawlies, you're not gonna get little mice, you're not gonna get critters. And critters come everywhere. They've been all over this house. I've had to chase them out. Critters are directly correlated to creepy crawlies with antennas and all that are directly correlated to um, that environment. Do not give them a place to come and party. You don't want those cockroaches partying in your room, in your house. So um, the number one reason to clean your room is critters. And I guarantee you, and I'm kind of, I mean, I know you probably can't tell by looking around right now, <laughs> but I kind of like having clean spaces for the two reasons that I'm gonna tell you next. Um, okay, so the number two reason that it's really important that you clean your room and keep your physical space clean and that you pick up after yourself when you're in your home and you know you don't leave cups or little bowls where you've had a snack or like wrappers and all that stuff lying around um, is because that stuff, that like clutter stuff um, makes your mind cluttered. So when you're stepping over clothes to get to what you need to do in your room or when you're like can't figure out if it's clean or dirty because you did laundry but you didn't fold it and then it got mixed up with the dirty stuff and like there's all of this confusion that gets introduced into your life that's totally avoidable and honestly your life is hard enough. You got a lot going on. Your life is hard enough without introducing into your own space like the place where you have refuge and even if you don't you, like because growing up I didn't have my own room and when that space is out of order it's really hard to have peace of mind. It really is. It's really hard to have peace of mind because Things are jumbled up, and when things are jumbled up in your physical space, it's really, really, really hard to have, like, um, clear, like, openness in your brain because you can't find it. It's all over the place. It's a hot mess. You've been meaning to do it. The mental energy that's associated with thinking about doing it is infinitely more taxing than the physical energy it takes to actually do it. So like creepy crawlies, get rid of them. That's what cleaning does. Um, mental space for calm and clarity and peace, which is where all good ideas come from. And so the number three reason for being proactive about cleaning up after yourself and cleaning your room and doing it even though you didn't make the mess and um, doing it before you've been asked and all that is that amazingly, <laughs> it will make the adults in your life feel that you're a very responsible person, you're an on top of it person, and you will get privilege. Now, I don't, I know it doesn't seem like it correlates, but it absolutely correlates. The adults in your life, whether it's a messy binder or it's a messy laundry basket, the adults that have visibility into that are going to make decisions about your level of maturity and your level of responsibility and your level of ownership and they're going to um they're going to either give or withhold other stuff from you i'm telling you it's true like if you're proactive about getting your shit together physically like making it visibly that your shit is together 
it will make every all the adults in your life feel like, oh, that's the responsible kid. Let me give them more responsibility or let me give them more privilege or like you will get freedoms. I'm telling you, you will. You'll get freedoms. You'll get privilege just because you decided, OK, I'm going to keep my physical space clean for the period of the next three months, whatever, 12 weeks, whatever, set a time goal. Um, a week, <laughs> a day, right? I'm going to keep my physical space clean and clear. You keep that shit together and you do it on your own of your own volition and nobody asks you to do it, they will immediately notice. Okay, so just do it. Just go up there, go wherever it is and tidy up. I'm going to do it here. You can see I have some tidying up to do in here too. <laughs> Saturday morning to get my stuff together okay my darlings we have to do a very quick recording before i head off to work because i am having a good hair day and why is that important because when i have good hair days my confidence goes up confidence is so important like your confidence in yourself is something that we all work on, everybody works on, adults work on all the time. We're in the middle of the World Cup now. And um, there was this amazing goal that Ronaldo made. Who were they playing? Oh, I can't remember. Spain. Spain. They were playing Spain. And it was the last goal of the game. Ronaldo made this amazing goal. And I want to tell you why Ronaldo made that goal. I can tell you why he made that goal. Because before he kicked the ball, he knew he was going to make the goal. He was confident. Um, it's argued who the best player in the world is. And, I, you know, Ronaldo is an interesting character to me. I'm not advocating. But I am saying that what makes him great and what makes the greatest great, what made Muhammad Ali the greatest, is confidence. Their belief in their selves. Like they believe that the world can come crashing around them, but he's going to make that goal, right? That's where you got to get. That's where you got to get your mental headspace. And so why is the hair day important? Aside from the fact it looks so beautiful. Yeah, yeah, I'm going faster. Um, is because you have to do little things, little tiny things every single day that help you boost your confidence. Maybe that's exercise. Maybe it's doing one more push-up than you could do last time you did it. Maybe it's taking care of your acne. And maybe it's like making the acne go away. Maybe it's taking care of your nutrition and trying to help, okay, we're done, we're done, we're done. The point is, the point is, the point of the story is confidence, confidence, confidence. Sorry, I ramble sometimes, I, 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 I'm, but I'm having a good hair day. <laughs> Time for Adulting 101, time to learn how to peel a pomegranate. This fruit is in season in the United States of America uh, in like November time frame. So this is my pomegranate, my pomegranate, and I'm going to show you how to cook it. Okay, I get my little piece of um, kitchen paper that I always have in my handy dandy drawer. The first thing, we have a sharp knife. These are your, these are your ingredients. This is what you need. Okay, I have a sharp knife, and what I'm going to do is kind of um, cut, uh, like just slice off the bottom of my pomegranate. And as I do so, I might see a little bit of my seeds. Do you see? Okay. Then I'm going to take the top and I'm going to do the same thing. The top, I kind of need to go in sort of on an angle. So the top part has this like, um, fleshy part at the very top. Do you see? Um, so I'm kind of going deep into the pomegranate and you can kind of start seeing some of the seeds, which is the deliciousness. So I just want to get as much of that fleshy part off um, before you'll start seeing when if you get to a membrane-y part like that looks really paper thin then you're you're done but you want to get kind of the fleshy or thick part of the rindy part off the fruit right top bottom longitude and latitude I do the prime meridian right here okay Prime meridian, not the equator, prime meridian. I go on the North Pole, you see the North Pole? I stick my thumb into the North Pole and I pull the fruit apart. Are you ready? Magic, it's about to happen. Oh, oh, oh! Oh my gosh, it sounds so good too. Did you see, did you see, did you see? Oh, pomegranates, pomegranate seeds. Okay, now here's the easy part. Well, the hard part is to clean it 
without eating it because <laughs> you want to save it to share it. I will peel off section by section, like I'll kind of wedge these pieces apart, these pieces apart. And if it's Halloween time, because pomegranates are in season Halloween time, so I guess I lied, I guess it's more October. Um, uh, you can serve this at Halloween because it's kind of creepy looking food a little bit. Now, when you eat pomegranate seeds, um, I personally swallow the, um, the, the little seed on the inside. Um, there are people that I know who, uh, who spit it out. <laughs> so they like, suck the pomegranate and the, the fleshy part off the seed and then they spit it out like you would like a grape seed, right? So do you see how I'm kind of just um, getting the pomegranates off, the seeds off. This is actually an amazingly good pomegranate for this time of year, it's June. They're way out of season. So I guess this came from the Southern Hemisphere somewhere, I suppose. Do you see this papery section? This is what I'm talking about, the membrane. So this is the membrane-y part, it's like paper. It peels off very, very easily. Just carefully peel it off. This part on the bottom part is the rindy part, or the, you know, kind of, it's like rind. Now, this fruit, it almost looks prehistoric, doesn't it? And what's really crazy is that it connects me to my uh, ancient Greek ancestors, because as we all know, oh, there's a little munchkin who loves pomegranate. As we all know, um, this fruit uh, had a very important story in mythology. I guess I should eat, what, six? <laughs> I'm gonna let you do a little Googling to figure that out. Thank you for watching. Please hit the like and the subscribe and the ring a ling a ling notification button. And don't forget munchy crunchies. Manage your happy. Manage your happy. Have a good, 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 good week. I'll see you next week.